Welcome to our channel, Circuits Analytica. In this video, we will be discussing about second order low pass filters. A second order active filter consists of four admittance terms Y1, Y2, Y3 and Y4. Apart from the RC components, the circuit also contains an op amp connected as a non inverting amplifier. In a second order low pass filter, Y1 is equal to Y2 is equal to 1 by R and Y3 is equal to Y4 is equal to SC. So this is the Diagram of a second order low pass filter Y1 is equal to Y2 is equal to 1 by R and Y3 is equal to Y4 is equal to SC. Now let us discuss the transfer function of a second order low pass filter. The gain of a second order filter is given as V0 by V in is equal to A0 Y1 Y2 the whole divided by Y1 Y2 plus Y4 into Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 plus Y2 Y3 into 1 minus A0. For a second order low pass filter y1 is equal to y2 is equal to 1 by r and y3 is equal to y4 is equal to sc. Therefore we can write v0 by v in is equal to a0 into 1 by r into 1 by r the whole divided by 1 by r into 1 by r plus sc into 1 by R plus 1 by R plus SC plus SC into 1 by R into 1 minus A0. So rearranging the terms we can write V0 by V in is equal to A0 into 1 by R square the whole divided by 1 by R square plus SC into 2 by R plus SC plus SRC divided by R square into 1 minus A0. So rearranging the terms we can write V0 by V in is equal to A0 into 1 by R square the whole divided by 1 by R square plus SC into 2 plus SRC the whole divided by R plus SRC divided by R square into 1 minus A0. So V0 by V in is equal to A0 into 1 by R square the whole divided by 1 plus SRC into 2 plus SRC plus SRC into 1 minus A0 the whole divided by R square. V0 by V in is equal to A0 divided by 1 plus 2 SRC plus S square R square C square plus SRC minus A0 into SRC. So rearranging the terms we can write V0 by V in is equal to A0 into 1 by R square C square the whole divided by S square plus S into 3 minus A0 into 1 by RC plus 
1 by r square c square. So v naught by v in is equal to a naught into 1 by r square c square, the whole divided by s square plus s into 3 minus a naught into 1 by r c plus 1 by r square c square. Therefore, we can write h of s is equal to v naught by v in is equal to a naught into omega h square, the whole divided by s square plus sigma omega h s plus omega h square, where a naught is the maximum gain, omega h is equal to 1 by r c is the upper cutoff frequency in radians per second, f h is equal to 1 by 2 pi r c, and sigma is equal to 3 minus a naught, which is the damping coefficient of the low pass filter. So, if sigma is equal to 1.414, then that is a Butterworth filter. Or for a Butterworth filter, a naught is equal to 1.586, as in the case of a second order high pass filter. Now, let us do a problem. Design a low pass Butterworth filter with cutoff frequency 1 kHz. For a low pass Butterworth filter, cutoff frequency is given as FH is equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. So here there is only one equation and there are two unknown terms. R and C are the two unknown terms. So here we have to assume either the value of C and find the value of R or assume the value of R and find the value of C. So it is better to assume the value of C and find the value of R. So let C is equal to 0.1 microfarad. We can write R is equal to 1 by 2 pi FHC that is equal to 1 by 2 pi into 1 into 10 raised to 3 into 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 6. So R is approximately equal to 1.6 kilo ohms. So as I mentioned previously, for a Butterworth filter, maximum gain of the non-inverting amplifier is A0 is equal to 1.586. So 1 plus R of by R1 is equal to 1.586. That means R of by R1 is equal to 0.586 or R of is equal to 0.586 R1. So let R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohms, we will get R of is equal to 0.586 kilo ohms or 586 ohms. Thanks for watching Circuits Analytica. Enjoy learning.